What is up you guys, it's Funko Time over here in today's video we are going to be looking over at the 2019 NYCC Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops that are about to be releasing this year so I'm really excited for that. You guys also we are about to be looking up at some of the common ones that are going to be releasing too. Um, I want to get you guys suggestions on what you guys think about them, what you guys like about them. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think. Also, you guys, we have more releases that are, about, that are about to be coming out, you guys. September, October, November, December. I'm really excited for these uh, months that are about to come through. Um, the double pack, I, I know you guys heard about that. Anyways, you guys, let's get straight into it so we can get started with this video. Let's go. Alright, you guys, first up is the two pack that's coming out from Box Lunch. It is um, described as a baseball theme. So um, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, there's a lot of speculation on Reddit already and Facebook on what this pop is going to be because of the leaks that this pop has made. But, anyways, you guys, let me know on what Funko Pop this two pack is going to be. Everyone's guessing baseball and everyone's throwing up the pictures, like one of these right here. And um, yeah, you guys. Um, that um i guess they are going to be um doing more pops uh towards the super manga um as far as other uh dbz pops i am not for sure yet all right next up you guys we have the vegeta and piccolo that is going to be releasing at the nycc 2019 uh comic con so i'm really excited for this one um vegeta doing his little um gallic uh, blast pose right there and Vegeta looks like he's meditating uh, on thin air but anyways you guys uh, this pop looks really really nice uh, I wish they could have done other more characters uh, than besides the ones that we already have especially the Vegeta's and Goku ones I'm um, I guess we only have one Piccolo I guess we can use another Piccolo but I don't know you guys what what, what do you guys think about it uh, let me know in the comment section down below and what you guys think about these two Funko Pops that are about to be releasing for NYCCC I don't even know why I threw up three C's but anyways you guys let me know what you think Alright you guys, we still have no word on this SS2 Vegeta Funko Pop that's going to be releasing. One of them is supposed to be a glow-in-the-dark chase variant, so I'm really excited for that one. There's also, um, it also looks like there has a regular version of this um, SS2 Vegeta. You, you guys, I'm really excited for this. Um, there's no word yet on when this Funko Pop is still um, going to be coming out, so we are still waiting on that. Anyways, you guys, we also have the list for the NYCC exclusives that are going to be releasing, you guys. I'm really excited for this. Um, we have a metallic piccolo that's going to be coming out for um, the NYCC Comic Con. I'm really excited for that to see how um, this piccolo is going to be looking. Uh, also, we also have a Majin Buu pink chrome uh, metallic uh, Funko Pop that is also going to be releasing, you guys. Um... Let me know what you guys think about these Funko Pops and um, I don't know, the sh a shiny pink uh, Majin Buu. I think uh, there are other custom makers out there that had already done this idea and for me it just seems like Funko is uh, bouncing off of the ideas of what these custom creators are doing and not being creative and starting out a new character base or a new, you know, a new line of characters. I don't know you guys. I just think the Chrome Gang thing is just um, overplayed, you know. And I think if they're ever to do a Chrome section, they should just probably only do it for one character, you know what I mean, per license. Because um, the Chrome stuff could get out of control. Just look at look at Marvel. <laughs> it, it's out of control, you guys. Anyways, you guys, there you have it. We have the Metallic Piccolo and the Pink Chrome Majin Buu. Or, yeah, Pink Chrome Majin Buu. Let me know what you guys think about um, the idea of what Funko is doing over here for NYCCC. Let me know what you guys think. I'm actually satisfied with this wave, you guys. You know what I mean? Um, even though we didn't get um, different characters, we at least got one new character. We got Android 16 on our team, and everyone else is just another repeat with a different pose. But anyways, you guys, this is actually a really good wave. I'm really excited for this. I am also excited for the Cell um, Funko Pop T that's going to be releasing, I hope. It's going to be coming out on October. I had pre-ordered two of those. I had pre-ordered a small and a medium. I'm really excited for that. And excited for the Funko Pop that's about to be inside. I believe it's a metallic cell. So make sure you guys don't sleep on it. Make sure you guys pre-order it. I believe it's $30. So I paid $60 for two. So I'm really excited for it, you guys. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this line. Leave a comment on in the comment section down below on what you guys think. 
Anyways, you guys. So I know this is not Dragon Ball Z related, but I am a fan of Pokemon. So I am really excited for the 10 inch Squirtle that's going to be dropping on the 6th of October at Target, you guys. So make sure you guys don't sleep on it. Make sure you guys are on it so you guys can get there on time and make sure you guys um, stay posted on that because this is Pokemon, you guys. Pokemon sells out really quick, especially if it's, um, it's going to be an exclusive by Target. It's going to sell, you guys. Um, I don't know if we're going to be getting any more, um, uh, Pokemon Funko Pops. We're, we're most likely going to be getting more, but probably later on towards, um, more of this, uh, Pokemon items that are going to be dropping. Hopefully we don't wait on it for too long for the next wave that's going to be releasing for Pokemon, you guys. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this 10 inch Squirtle Funko Pop. I'm really excited. It's going to be dropping on October 6th, you guys. So make sure you guys don't sleep on it. Last but not least guys, we have the Goku and Vegeta pop um, that has been leaked by this pop and uh, I don't know you guys, like I said same pop, we have we have already three of the SSJ Gokus and um, the Vegeta with the uh, scouter off um, pretty much looks like the same thing as the Planet Arlia Vegeta but without the scouter and with a different mold but Anyways, you guys, those are the pops right there. Let me know what you guys think about the leaks um, that came out through this pop. I'm kind of disappointed on this one right here. I really wish they could have done more characters. Like I always keep saying, you guys, Funko could be doing more characters and be doing more ideas, but they still stay on this Vegeta and Goku, you know what I mean, trend thing of reproducing pops over and over again with the different pose but anyways you guys i know funko could do better i know they can do better i know they will do better hopefully that um they don't sleep on these new ideas because some people will start um not wanting to collect funko pops because of this idea of them having to keep re reproducing the same exact stance the same exact pose just with a little movement here and there and Funko, I think, really needs to step it up, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Should Funko step it up? Leave your comment on the comment section down below on what you guys think about these Funko Pops, you guys. I really think they should do better. But anyways, you guys, that is it. All right, you guys, so make sure you guys don't sleep on it. On the 25th of September, there's going to be a two-pack that's going to be releasing from Box Lunch, so make sure you guys don't sleep on it. The 10-inch Squirtle is going to be coming on the 6th of October, you guys. Make sure you don't sleep on that. Also... We have more of the waves that are coming out from GameStop or if you need to pre-order them from Galactic Toys, make sure you guys do that from the next wave with Vegeta, Goku, Android 16, and so on and so forth. There's also the Cell Funko Pop T that's going to be coming out hopefully in October. Hopefully we can keep our fingers crossed on that. Anyways, there is also the new um, Goku and Vegeta, the over 9000 Vegeta and the SSJ Goku again with a different pose. I believe that one is coming sometime next year or I'd say towards the end of December, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know when are those coming out. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you guys liked that video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you guys could be receiving more of my content. Anyways, you guys, take care.